Okay, so I have just been having the best morning for no particular reason at all. I woke up at like 6 a.m. this morning, which is very early for me. And I had some coffee and I just like started jamming to some tunes and I was just instantly in a good mood. I was I was dancing and singing for like an hour and it's just it's just been like a good morning. Does that happen to any of you guys? Like do you ever just listen to music and you just like start singing and dancing like nobody's watching and then you're just in like the best mood ever? Because I do that all the time. It always, always, always works. <laughs> okay, so now that I've made the worst braid ever of my life. What is this kink? Oh no, it's just the light. Okay. I'm just going to start with my makeup. So by the time this video um, uploads, <laughs> it's already going to be past Thanksgiving. Um, but because I've just been a terrible YouTuber lately and I haven't been uploading as much as I have and all that, this video is late. Even though the title of this video is going to say Thanksgiving makeup, honestly, it's you can just wear it whenever you want and you'll be good. It's not like only for Thanksgiving. So the foundation that I'm applying is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It's like, it's these. So I mix um, porcelain and I mix caramel, uh, golden caramel, these two. Um, I've made a video on these, so if you haven't watched that yet, go watch it. So I'm using like my beauty blender, um, which I haven't used in a while. And it's, it really does absorb so much product, but like when you use the silly sponge, like I use the silly sponge a lot. Um, when you get used to the silly sponge, um, you get used to using a lot less product than you would with um, a sponge because the sponge it just absorbs so much product but I mean the beauty blender is still the best um, makeup applicator because like I don't know even though I love the silly sponge like nothing can compare to the beauty blender it just it's perfect honestly I still say like the person that invented this was like a genius he saw an opportunity because people have been using makeup sponges forever. So whoever invented this, he or she saw an opportunity and they went for it and it was genius. So the holidays are coming up, which is so exciting. I have a lot of cool videos planned, like Christmas videos and New Year's Eve videos, well makeup videos. But I don't know. Like, um, if you guys want to see like any other videos, like specific ones, I don't know which videos you guys are interested, like leave comments down below, tell me um, which type of videos you guys would like me to make, uh, maybe I can do like a few challenges, I don't know if you guys are interested in that, or if there are any specific makeup videos that you would like to see, like I, I think I mentioned it in my other video, I'm not sure, I did a drugstore video, like the Huda Beauty drugstore dupes, I made a video. And I told you guys that I loved making that video, so if there are any other makeup looks that you guys love, but you would like to find drugstore dupes for that, tag me in those pictures um, and tell me like, ooh, I should recreate this using drugstore dupes, because that would be awesome, because I love drugstore makeup, and I love recreating um, photos, like challenging myself and trying to recreate whatever somebody else has been doing. So I would love to do that. Just tag me pictures that you would like me to recreate if you guys are interested in that. And then I can do that. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm using this shade from the Cryolan palette. This is the number... This thing is so confusing. D62. Okay, so D62 from the Cryolan palette. And I'm just gonna conceal under my eyes. And lighten up my... <clears throat> I have so much... <coughs> uh, anyway, I was saying I'm just gonna lighten up my face a bit with this baby. Oh, oh, dirty brush, dirty brush. I've been hoping. See, I can't stop singing. Like it's just in my head that song now. I'm singing terribly, by the way. 
So, you're welcome for that little entertainment. Little entertainment. I can't stop. I can't stop. Okay, so for blush, I'm actually also going to use the Cryolan palette because I have no new blushes to use. I'm mixing this red, this peach, and this white. Okay, so taking the color that I just mixed on a brush, and this is way too pink, but it's fine, I'll work with it. I'm looking like such a doll right now because this is so pink, but it's fine. I'll fix it in just a moment. So, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I like to take my blush up really high lately because I've been a bit over contour. I don't like to contour anymore, really, to be honest. So I take my blush up really high, up until this area where I would usually bronze or contour, and then the blush gives me like a contoured effect. I've been lo loving that lately. I've, I, 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 I've um, been seeing that a lot of people are actually doing this as well. So I don't know if it's like a trend, but I just started doing that. Like, I just started doing that. But since I'm seeing so many people that are doing it as well, I'm thinking that it's a trend. I don't know. Okay, to set my face, I'm using this LA Gold powder in the shade Ivory. I always use this powder. I need new powders as well. Um, so I'm just setting my T-zone with this light shade. And then I'm also sitting under my eyes. Then my little chinny chin chin as well. Then taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder in the shade Natural Beige. Yeah. Natural Beige and sitting the rest of my face. This powder actually does give a lot of extra color, I noticed. So I actually should have taken a lighter powder because even though this is my skin tone, um, this does add color and coverage. So as you guys can see, this side of my face is so much darker than this side right now. Um, and that's because of this powder. So if you guys do go and buy this powder, buy like a shade or two lighter than your actual skin tone because it is dark. Okay, so even though I just gave a speech about like not contouring anymore. I'm gonna contour today. So I'm just using this Inglot HD um, sculpting powder in the shade 509. I think, yeah. This is so pigmented. Like this is definitely the most pigmented contour powder or sculpting powder that I've ever used in my entire life. Honestly, it's great. It's very, very pigmented. Okay, so sorry, I just did my brows off camera because this mirror is terrible <laughs> and I'm too blind to like sit here and do my brows. Like I need to be this close to a mirror just to see. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so for eyes, like I said, this is a Thanksgiving inspired look today. But this look is appropriate for, you know, whatever occasion you want to wear it to. I wore it to like a premiere, like a movie premiere. and. Yeah, that and Thanksgiving are two different things. I'm talking way too much and saying way too much unnecessary things that nobody cares about. <laughs> okay, so using the NYX Lit Lingerie Palette and I'm using this peach shade as my transition shade. Oh! I get frightened so easily, it's like a legit fear of mine. It's a legit phobia that I have. I am scared of getting scared by someone or something. And it's terrible because most of my friends know this. So they think it's so funny to scare me 
but I legit have a fear of being scared of get, or getting scared. It's it's crazy. Then again, using the Meron Intense Pro Eyeshadow in Island Breeze, I use this eyeshadow so much. It's crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Before I continue, I all see this is why I usually do my eyes first because I just go in and then it, um, the fallout like spoils my entire foundation look. So I always do this. Um, I look crazy, but this will prevent any fallout from smudging my foundation. So if there's any eyeshadow fallout, it's gonna fall onto this powder, and then at the end of everything, I can just wipe it away, and the foundation will still be in place afterwards. If you guys see the light changing all the time in my videos, I apologize for that. But I only use natural lighting for my videos. I don't have any. Um, studio light set up around me, so I just have this big window that I sit in front of um, But here in South Africa, it's sunny and then it starts to rain all of a sudden then it's sunny again So the light changes all the time. I'm so sorry. I can't do anything about that Until I get studio lights. So donations anyone? <laughs> Okay, so now I'm using this Essence Must Have eyeshadow in the shade Miss Foxy Roxy and putting this all over my eyelid. This is going to be a very, very simple eye look actually. I'm just using three eyeshadows to create this look. So anybody can do this. And then using this shade from the NYX Lit Laundry palettes. I'm just blending these two colors together. Now just using white gold from the Ben Nye eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette, like I always do. This is my favorite, favorite brow bone highlight shade. This is actually like just one of my favorite highlighters all around. So again, using this shade from the NYX Lit Laundry Palette, and I'm just blending that underneath my eyes. And then taking some of that Island Breeze eyeshadow, and I'm just going to put this at my outer corners to blend my top lid and my bottom lash line a bit better. And then taking this um, Colossal Kajal Eyeliner by Maybelline. This is just black. And then I'm taking this smudger brush from Palladio and just smudging or blending out that eyeliner. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I'm applying highlighter, which is the LA Girl 50 Watt Highlighter. Um, so the reason I didn't apply my highlighter while I was doing my face was because I had that whole bake situation going on under the eye. And that powder would have set on top of the highlighter and the highlighter would just completely have faded away. And then, for lips, I'm using a matte lipstick in the shade Viva Glam number 3. This is a limited edition lipstick from years ago. Waiting for the sun to start shining again, like. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Over here in South Africa, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving because it's not a part of our culture, but I think it's still a very awesome holiday. So, happy Thanksgiving to everyone all over the world that does celebrate Thanksgiving. And I hope that you all had a very blessed day. Uh, like I said, I know that this video is late. <laughs> it's way past Thanksgiving, but uh, this makeup is just appropriate for 
any function, any day, whatever. You do you, boo. Wear makeup whenever you want to wear makeup. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to leave comments down below on which videos you would like me to make for you next. And tag me in pictures on Instagram or on Facebook or in whatever social media pages they still are. <laughs> just tag me in pictures that you would like me to recreate using drugstore dupes or just using makeup that I have. I would love to do that. So yeah, thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys in my next video.